Hello everybody, it's Neil and today we're going to be playing Pikmin 4 and we're going to be attempting to beat Sunspeckled Terrace 100% in two days. Now before you go ahead and start the level, make sure that you collect the posy pellets from around the hub area so that way you start with at least 20 red Pikmin. I've currently got 25 in my onion and 20 means we've got a full team and it, it's one less thing to worry about during the level. Um, we won't need to have to harvest enemies to get more Pikmin. So let's get started. Now the problem with Sunspeckled Terrace is it's the first level. So you've got nothing unlocked basically. Uh, and in order to beat Sunspeckled Terrace you're going to need the ability to make clay to build bridges and such. Which we can't get until we rescue the scientist from one of the caves. Uh, and we're also going to need to unlock the ice bomb and to get the ice bomb we're going to need to get 1500 sparkly um because that will allow us to cross the water to collect the blue onion um you could use 30 ice pitmen to freeze the water but then you need another 20 to carry the onion and it's far quicker to unlock the ice bomb than it is to get the ability to get 50 pitmen so let's get started. Okay, so to start, we'll take out all our Pikmin. We're going to harvest all of these resources. Send Ochi to uh, play that thing on. And we don't need to worry about bringing Arcuses back or Pellets back just yet. So we've got more than enough Pikmin. It's not something to really worry about. Targeting. Uh. So break down this wall. Don't need to worry about that carcass. It's one cave unlocked. And what we're going to do is while we wait for the Pikmin to take the resources back. We're going to take on this uh, blow hog. There we go, we're going to move our base to here. We'll get that one resource. We can even just very quickly get these resources here even if they only take them part way when we come out of the cave the resources will still be there so now we're gonna enter the first cave the last frost cavern Now time moves at a slower rate while you're in the caves. But it's not like Pikmin 2 where the where time just basically stops. So we get some sparkly from the enemy carcasses and that's going to be very important for right now. frozen pikmin that's fine now we've got some ice pikmin which is nice nice to have so we'll push that down we 
these guys work on that. We'll have our red kitmin take on, take out those things. Right, these pots get five more ice pitmin. The hydro jelly freezes up. We've got this flalic here. What we can do with this hydro jelly is send out G in to finish it off. So let's gather all these resources. The good thing about Ochi is when you send him to carry something, he will automatically return to you. Take these guys. Oh, I was really hoping those two would give these guys a hand. Oh, we still have that icy hog over there to get. So we got the fly lick. Very quickly flower these guys. There's Russ, there's our scientist, so we know that tomorrow we'll now have the ability to build bridges. So we'll send the maximum amount of Pikmin. Go and grab these. Just to get that sparkly. So we've got our scientists, we've got all this sparkly. Our investigation's complete. Now that we're out of the cave, we're going to learn that time still passes. And the Flarly gives us an extra 10 Pikmin that we can have out. So we're going to take these Pikmin, we're going to go down this route. Kill these dudes. Destroy those pots. And then we're going to destroy these pots. Take the resources, take the lesser mock bottom. Don't need to worry about all that. To be honest, you don't really need to kill those enemies, they're not threatening in any way. We're going to come down here, we're going to release the potted plant using Ochi. And then we're going to attack this thing. Start our attack with the ice pit here. Now if an enemy is frozen and you kill it, it won't leave behind the carcass. You see it will leave behind the delicious sap. So we're going to have those Pikmin attack that wall. We're going to come over here and work on this pile of resources. Uh, it's a good Dandori to use the exact number of Pikmin you need. So eight Pikmin means that pile will be taken away. in three journeys. We use seven, it's four journeys. So 
So we've got Ochi digging that cave open. We've got our guys creating that ramp. We're gonna grab all these Pikmin. And we're again gonna fight this thing using the ice Pikmin. Let the leaves get flowered. I'm gonna grab that treasure. And then we're gonna grab that treasure. So we got that one, binoculars, and then we're just going to wait for those resources to, to make it. Right, as soon as they've made it, we're going to get on with the crackling cauldron. Now that treasure, that pocket watch that we're taking, that's going to stay where it currently is. So we can go back and grab that after we finish with this dungeon, this cave. Right, so with this cave, let's go send some Pikmin to fight that. And kill these sheer grunts. And we're going to grab these yellow Pikmin. So yellow Pikmin, if you're unaware, they can be thrown higher than other Pikmin. And they can be thrown, I guess, further by default. I don't know if they actually can be thrown further, or not, but they can be thrown higher. They're also immune to electric. So we'll just push this down. Put these just use our reds to grab these. So we might as well finish off the pile, I guess. So we're going to use our yellows to take down the electric fence. So it shouldn't take too much longer now. finish off. Oh, no, that should be everything in this cave, or at least this uh, this floor of this cave. We've got the treasure. We've got the enemy carcass. So as that sparkling goes up, we're ready to continue. So we'll start off by smashing that up. We're going to have our yellows take down this electric fence. Oh, 
I'll grab this entire pile of resources. Nice and effortlessly. And we'll just wait for these guys to destroy the sizzling floor. Will have Ochi help put that vegetable there. to use these reds to get rid of this. And we'll have them work on that wall while we go and grab our Pikmin. So we've got a nice full team to take on this little lava cookie thing. Take any unnecessary risks. There we go, we can straight away move our base to here. Just gotta save us some time. Use our yellows to get these things. left is this little section down here. Kill the sheer grubs, so let's grab these yellows. Let's grab them. Those guys are chilling. So we don't need to grab our idle Pikmin when we leave. So we go, we've got Schnorz. It turns out there's a lot more than our team stranded on this planet. So now we can leave the cave. So we've got some yellows, which is nice. Those are sparkly. And that cave's now complete. Okay. So at this point, we will we'll take out the yellows and the reds. We'll see how we get on with that. We'll get our reds to take that pocket watch. And we're going to go over to this Flarnik here. We can use the yellows on that to grab that. It's going to be another very helpful thing so that will give us even more Pikmin to play with. And we're going to come over and we're going to grab that. So unfortunately, uh, a slight casualty there, but that's okay. Ochi's tough. He'll work through it. Can use some reds to uh, get this ball back quicker. So there's that Flarnik. Means we can get another 10 Pikmin out. So let's take out the ice. The ice Pikmin. That's what we're going to do now. 
go around to this electric fence. resources take our entire team and just need to wait now for this electric fence to be taken down so that's gone as you can see, we've got another creature to fight. I'm going to ignore that iridescent flint beetle. And same again, lice it. As soon as that's gone, we now move the base. Now our idle Pikmin will come with it, which is helpful. So another shortcut there. So our yellows are getting that treasure. We'll get this treasure here. And here's the yellow onion. Send all our Pikmin to grab this. As you can see, we're now only 30 sparkly in my way. Now that yellow onion, that means we can grow yellow Pikmin. So we can grab some of these carcasses just to help start the numbers. Now unfortunately if we look at the map, first of all we get a card in giving us some very unnecessary information. Everywhere we can currently go, there's no treasure. This one's inaccessible till we can build a bridge here. Um, this one's inaccessible till we can hop on here, which we can't do till tomorrow when OG grows up. Same with a treasure that's here. It's like, that's it. There's no more. We're in desperate need of getting another 30 sparkling. So first of all, we're going to grab these. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to Last Frost Cavern. Because at Last Frost Cavern, the enemies will have respawned. So we're going to hop in, we're going to kill the enemies and get their carcasses. Now, in this cavern, you can only get, I believe, 11 Sparkium, so it's actually going to take us three attempts to get this. Now, it's not all bad, because we get the opportunity to get a lot more Ice Pikmin. And finding them in caves is the only way to get Ice Pikmin. So, rather handily. the ramps down and we can just effortlessly go through and 
and harvest all the enemies. Now you can go to your bouquet. That will allow you to get some more yellow Pikmin. And there is more sparkly up for grabs there. So it being two floors and having more enemies. So it's up to you. You might prefer to get some yellow Pikmin. But we're going to have time left at the end of the day. Where we can just grab enemy carcasses on the overworld and, and harvest them for yellow Pikmin. So we won't be without. So I'm going to do this cave a couple of more times. And I'll be back to show you what happens when we get 1500 sparkly. Okay, so this is the third run of this cave now. Fourth in total. But on my quest for sparkly. My third. Kill these. And now what should happen? This will hit 1500 sparkling. Each enemy will give you one sparkling for, for, for every point in weight that it weighs. So in other words, if it takes five Pikmin to carry a carcass, it will give you five sparkling. So there we go. I've got over 1500. That's virtually all we can do for the day, apart from grow some more Pikmin just to get ready for, for the next day. So we'll do a bit of a clean up of the area. Okay, so once you've got that 1500 sparkly, um, you can literally just wander around, grab any resources that you've missed, and gather any carcasses you can find to just maximize your Pikmin numbers. So, as you can see, we've already got 40 of each, apart from the ice Pikmin. So we could have a full team of yellows, full team of reds. We've got our bases covered. Now what we need to do now is upgrade Ochi. Now he's has a growth spurt, which means we can ride on him. He can jump, so we can reach uh, small ledges that will allow us to get some new treasures. And we can teach him some new skills. Now I don't really care for the heal skill tree or the command skill tree. Um, the command can be nice. I think it quickly gets outclassed by a few things that we'll not later. Um, healing. We, we just try not to get Ochi hurt. <laughs> um, chomping. We're going to rely more on our Pikmin for attacking than, uh, than Ochi. So really it's between Rush and Buff. Now I'm going to focus more on the Buff skill tree. So we can just leave Ochi to it then. And once you've got level 3 Buff, we can get Super Buff. So now Ochi has a strength of 20 Pikmin. So we can leave him to get big treasures all on his own if we want to. So we'll just go through all this and then we can visit the lab now. So not only can we use the raw materials to build bridges and such, we can use the raw material to purchase consumable items and upgrades. So first we definitely want to get the charging horn. Very, very useful. And we'll get the treasure gauge as well. Even if you know where all the treasures are, it's still a nice reminder that you've got treasures to get. And we're also going to purchase 
the ice blast now if we can get one for free for a prototype i'm just gonna take a second one just in case things go wrong and we can get a prototype of all these items we can bait an enemy into eating a pit pit carrot to potentially stun it we can get heals for ourselves and heals for ochi um it is tempting to get one of the defenses mainly for ochi i think but we can control our character we can just avoid fire and ice but ochi sometimes will as we've already seen get into the middle of it but i'm going to save my materials for now and we can move on day two of the sun speckled terrace now we do unlock a new area but we're not interested in going there we're going to beat sun speckled terrace a hundred percent so let's go for it the day two we're going to start by just taking out maximum yellow pitmins. And we're going to start by working on this bridge. We're going to send the maximum amount over. And meanwhile, we're going to go down here. We're going to start work on this bridge. So you only need to send 11 over. And I'll take two trips. I've accidentally sent 12, that's fine. And we're going to come all the way back. It will take them a bit longer because they are leaf pitmen. As you can see, by the time we've come back, bridge is actually now built so if we just waited you know at least we've done something in that time now we've got that little cut scene where we're introduced to the uh, character that definitely doesn't look like Olimar I'm gonna lower this down and To grab this pile of resources. Let me check the map. We can actually watch them there. That I've done one run. I'm willing to leave it as that. And we'll go and do this Dandori versus battle. Now in terms of progress, I believe you only need to get a gold medal. I could be wrong about that, but you don't need to get a platinum medal. Or you might even just need to win. I'm not sure. But we'll see how we get on. Now because I've made Ochi stronger. That also means Moss, which is the leafling stock, is stronger. I believe Moss basically mirrors your dog's abilities. So, to start with, we're going to uh, build up some Pikmin. And if you do have a lot of Pikmin, then this is a lot easier. As you can imagine. But you want to keep an eye on what your opponent's doing in this. So we'll, we'll attack his dog since he wants to... Uh, 
play it dirty. That puts his dog out of action slightly. We'll go and grab this gold. And grab it all in one run, which is nice. Grab that, we don't want to uh be rushed out. I guess we don't have enough people to do that, so that's a waste of time. Or that. <laughs> if you if you want to get the uh, 100, if you want to beat them by 100, if you kind of have to sabotage them a little bit. Now, we've got a lot of Pikmin now, we should be okay. Send Ochi to grab that apple. Nice, we've got the lime. Not even going to worry about the blowhogs. Go on, sabotage them a bit. Yes. Don't let him grab the strawberry. Literally can't let him have like any treasure basically. There we go, we're beating by a hundred, that's a flat and a medal. Very dominant victory. Again, it doesn't really matter for completion of Sun Speckle Terrace. Just as long as you complete the mission, it doesn't matter how much you win by. Okay, so for this section. Gonna get as many ice pitmen as we can out. We'll send Ochi and some more ice pitmen to grab this. There's a uh, thing of resources underneath that bridge that we made. So if you have some time to spare, you can grab those. Got the leafling. I'm going to send 10 yellows to sort this out. So we're not going to move the base over because I want to get that pumpkin over. So we can go and grab these actually while we wait for the yellow pigment to finish building that bridge. Some nice bonus resources. 
meanwhile, we'll go over to here. There we go, the bridge is complete. The lake's frozen, we can jump up here and do another leafling cave. So this one's a little bit different than the last one. It's not a versus battle, this is more akin to a Pikmin 3 challenge. We've got five minutes to clear the map out of everything. Okay, so... Well, I've actually, if you pick me, clear that wall. She break this down. Get a bonus pick me. Jara Jow, got a few pit in there. The Bochi work on the big things. Two minutes remaining as well. Again, the medal that you get doesn't necessarily affect your progress with some speckled Terrace. But it's nice having a big score though, isn't it? 264. Let me know in the comments below what your score is. So we get 30 resources for that. So going to need quite a few ice pikmin here I'm thinking 2020 right, lake's now frozen we'll continue onwards to go down here. We're going to activate base 2. And we're kind of going to, going to do a 
a little bit of messy progress here. So I'm gonna use the yellows to grab the baseball. You can actually throw non-yellow Pikmin up there, but you have to sort of like angle it right. Leaf buddy. Let's take these guys. And we'll very quickly dig in here. May as well wait for everyone to get to base. As soon as they're in. And start the next cave. I always tend to just go with what they recommend. Hit me wise. It hasn't let me down yet. If you haven't done so already, if you go into shortcut settings, you can assign some very useful shortcuts. So I've got switch and disband doors. So disband door will make all my Pikmin go idle, which is great if I just want to sort them out if I only want to bring a certain like, group of Pikmin with me. And switch, which is what I use now, allows me to switch between. Ochi and the captain. So let's we'll travel across here. Ochi can press the button. Now we can go up here and meet with Ochi. We'll grab these extra yellows. We'll go across here and we'll just send a few Pikmin to start grabbing this now we can use rush to go against a moving uh, target and we'll just wait for these guys to get down here There we go. Now I can bash these pots. So the ones carrying the resources will be fine. It's just the uh, jigsaw piece ones. Need a little help. So when that makes it, our treasure gauge now deactivates. I'm fine to continue to the next floor. Could be quite a confusing cave sometimes, that one. It's not going to get any easier for this next floor. Luckily there's no enemies in this cave, so just take the pressure off. So we'll go up here, we'll smash these. Grab Ducky. Jump down here, grab these Pikmin. Grab all of these resources, come back up. We'll then wait for the drone to take us over. Oh, 
just a bit too slow getting back. But that's fine. So once we're up here we can just throw a 10 pit min at the, the ramp. And use the rest to break this gate. Hopefully 12 will be enough. No, it won't. So we'll just send Ochi. If in doubt, Ochi will handle it. And what we can do real quick is swap base. And we'll swap Ochi for a team of yellows. So we're going to need Dochi to give us access to this area. And now that we've got our captain, we're now good to Return to the surface. So every uh, cast away we rescue, we'll get one more point we can spend on Ochi. We've also finished the Great Adventure series, so we've got bonus sparkling. So that's nice. Take out whatever Pikmin you want at this point, so we're just going to go straight to another cave. Specifically this one, that's by the baseball. So again, I'll just go with what the game tells me. Nothing wrong with that. And... Fun little puzzle one, this one. So we'll just clear out this area. Go and grab these flowered ice pitmen. And we can chuck the ice pitmen in here. Grab those resources. And hopefully we'll make it across before the ice melts. Yeah. That's a bit touch and go then. <laughs> Wasn't good Dandori on my part. Could have got Pikmin to work on that while I sorted the treasure and stuff out. Right, so now we can go up the climbing wall. Thankfully the Pikmin can come with us. we will freeze kill this enemy. I'm absolutely fine with that. So we can begin work on the hydro jellies. We'll grab this thing. Now that the ramp is down, we can go and get Ochi to help us. Why well, our Pitmin stayed there, I don't know. But it's fine. 
Hopefully when you try this map, they'll come with you. Won't abandon you, like they did with me. So there we go, got some extra Pikmin, thanks to that. flower pick me while we wait. So we go, now we can access some level two. Well these early caves don't seem to have many floors. I feel like how that one Pikmin seemed to come a bit later than the others. There we go. Very, very easily kill that Pikmin. down. Those pots near the start, the pottery, they just simply give sap. And the ones by the exit are only there to block the exit. So we go rescue Dingo. We just started this game, we've nearly rescued the full team. Just a couple to go. So we go, another nice easy cave complete. So the bit we're going to do now is potentially one of the trickier parts of this. So we're getting out 30 ice and 10 red pigment. So we're going to freeze this lake, requires 30 ice pigment to freeze that lake. going to build that climbing wall. Now the blue onion that's up there unfortunately takes 20 Pikmin to carry. It used to be carried over a frozen lake. So unfortunately right now we don't have the Pikmin to do both jobs. Which is why we need to come up with an alternative. So literally at this point just killing time while we wait for the climbing wall to be built. So there we go. We'll grab these Pikmin. And we need to run over to this climbing wall. Remember there, we'll send the red equipment to attack this blow hog. We're going to send every single one of these ice equipment to grab this. You do preferably want them flowered. Now, I don't want the red equipment to grab that, but I do want them to grab that one resource. So when the ice equipment are here and they don't know what to do, we go into our pack. We grab the ice bomb, we throw it in, it will temporarily freeze the lake and it will just be enough to carry this blue onion. Seems to be consistent that four ice pikmin get caught in the lake. 
So there we go, we can now get blue Pikmin. So we'll grab that. We I mean, now have a lovely blue Pikmin. And we're going to grab all that Pikmin and we're going to go over to this bridge up here. I'll stop aiming at the bridge as long as I can kill these enemies. Right. Send all our Pikmin to parry. And we're going to come all the way back. Mark. So there's no rush because it takes a while once the resources are here for the bridge to actually be built. And we're all done. Let's grab your team. And what we want to do then is just look for this here. And we'll dig it up. Now we could we could have swapped to get yellow Pikmin out. It's fine. We'll play with the hand that's been dealt to us. We're not actually gonna take it away just yet. We're gonna kill these guys. We can just leave them there to be honest. It's when we get up top. There'll be another cave. This is a special cave because so we actually need to go through this cave to access the area above us. So this is where you also learn that we can't have any more than three types of Pikmin out at any one time. So if you want red, blue, yellow and ice Pikmin, you can't. Okay, so this first floor is incredibly simple. There's virtually nothing to it. So we need to freeze this lake so we can jump across. Got that very light treasure. That's all there is to that first floor. Sub level 2 is a little bit more involved. I'm getting the uh, sizzling floor extinguished. Get that ramp built. Get 
this ramp down. So that way they actually have somewhere to go. everything on Put the switch so we can actually get out get a few flower pit and why not I tend to really go for the eggs really need them. The problem with flower pitmen is that it tends to be a lot easier in this game for a pitmen to lose its flower. And there's a, a castaway. There we go. Rescued. Dalma. And that's the last thing of interest in this cave. But more importantly, the exit to this cave is going to take us to a new area. It would otherwise be inaccessible. Right, so this really is the last push now. The last push towards. Finishing off this area if we take a look at this map. We've got some treasures around here to get. But everywhere else, everywhere else is complete. There are resources that we can use the blue pitmin to get, but they're negligible. The treasure is the important thing. So first things first, we're going to push that bag, we're going to unlock our final base of this area. And we've got a little boss to take on. Not too difficult if you play aggressively. So we're gonna take Ochi across here. We're gonna grab that dragon fruit. Yeah, it's gonna drop down to here. We're gonna go dig out a nut. Then here we'll grab the potato. We're well, running a bit short on time, so hopefully we can get everything back. They're having a few troubles with that dragon fruit. Oh, they're sort of jockeying for position there. All holding each other up. But we should be good. So we go, we've got a few things. Let's get these blues out. Let's try and start building the numbers up a bit. Right, the dragon fruit people have made it home. And 
There we go. 100% of the area complete. Let's see if we can grab these real fast. More bothered about. There we go. We had a bit more time, but we've got those resources there as well. But we did good. There we go. I've actually done it faster. But of course, I wasn't recording. <laughs> My practice runs were smoother. But hey, I guess that's the uh, pressures of doing it in front of an audience. But there we go. That's two days. Sun Speckled Terrace. 100% completed. Um, but you try and break it down into what you can do, what you can't do, what you need to wait to do. Then it's a lot easier to digest and it's a lot easier to figure out a plan. So let's take a look. Lots of pup drive. Lots of sparkling. So many treasures. All in one day. And a level 100% complete. So that automatically gets you 30 uh, resources from Dingo. Because it will give you resources every time you complete. A level 100% and there we go we're ready to take on the Blossom in Arcadia next so everyone thank you all so much for watching I'll be back soon to see how to tackle Blossom in Arcadia